few years ago, I was flipping through YouTube, just like people do, and I ran across a TED talk and it pretty much changed the trajectory of my investing journey. It was talking about blockchain and the gentleman that was given the talk called it blockchain massively simplified. And so as we are in this singularity world right now, where basically technology is getting smarter than humans at a rapid pace, I wanted to do an update on that TED talk and see if I could put some clarity to things that aren't so clear. What is AI? And what is it doing for the world? Because I, I think if we can start there, then we may be able to put some sense of order and possibly understanding to the topic. So let's do that. Let me take you to the ground floor of understanding. Imagine this, you're running a business, data is pouring in from every direction sales figures, customer feedback, market trends. You've got everything you need to make the perfect decision, except clarity. It's overwhelming. There's insight buried somewhere in the numbers, but you can't see it. You can't feel it. Most of all, you can't act on it. That is what I call the cognition gap. Today, you're watching this talk on YouTube, using the internet with no cables, maybe from your phone, but to get here, a lot had to happen. People like Steve Jobs and Bill Gates had to imagine the world, not as it was, but as it could be a world with computers when none existed. And here we are. So the internet has successfully closed distance gap. Blockchain is closing the trust gap. But now what gap is left? We're buried in more data than ever before, exabytes of it. More than any human, any team, any enterprise could reasonably digest, let alone use it wise. So the question becomes, what is the one gap in this new paradigm that hasn't been closed? Because if you answer that, you can ride the next 40 years of transformation instead of watching it speed past. Let's take a look back quickly. The printing press closed the knowledge gap, moving from a chosen to the masses. The engine closed the power gap, shifting the burden from man to beast to machine. The internet shrunk the world. Blockchain lets us trust without middlemen. But what happens when you have connection, access, trust, and you still can't make sense of what's in front of you? You need something that can help you understand something that can see patterns faster than you can blink something that can sift through oceans of information and serve you insights that matter what you need ladies and gentlemen is artificial mm -hmm. intelligence now let me say right here we're going to keep this simple so the ai experts data scientists neural net engineers save the lecture for the comment section. Let's start with what AI actually solves. AI changes how we perceive and act on complexity. It changes how we understand, gives us cognition, not human cognition, but machine powered pattern recognition, prediction, and insight. If blockchain redefines how we trust, AI redefines how we think. So let's bring this down to earth. Let's say you're a doctor trying to diagnose a rare condition. You have labs, vital signs, symptoms, but nothing's clear. Now imagine AI tool trained on millions of cases that says this patient's presentation matches 94% of cases of X. Begin Y treatment. That's not magic. That's cognition at scale. It's for farmers optimizing water use. As for business leaders deciding where to expand, 
as for students finding personalized learning paths. AI is not about replacing humans. It's about amplifying them. It's about making cognition, understanding the next public utility. Let's be honest. Cognition right now is manual. You feel it. The spreadsheets, the dashboards, late nights. We've been trusting our gut for centuries and it's work. Kind of. But your gut is slow. Your gut is biased and your gut doesn't scale. Now we have a way to process complexity in real time with models that can learn, adapt, and suggest. AI is your second brain and it never sleeps. But here's the twist. Just like ledgers needed blockchain to become trustworthy, just like connections needed the internet to become global, AI needs guidance. It needs humans to ask the right questions because AI is not perfect. It reflects our data, our patterns, and our biases. That's why the future isn't AI alone. It's humans plus artificial intelligence. With that combination, the cognition gap shrinks. So let's go back to the metaphor. The internet solves distance. Blockchain solves trust. AI solves understanding. And when you put all three together, when a trusted real-time global network can think with you, you're not just watching history, you're writing. We are on the ground floor of this cognitive revolution. We are building systems that we can think faster than we can and help us act with more precision than ever before. It's already happening slowly, quietly, and then as always, all at once. So what do we do? We learn the tools. We ask better questions. We partner with intelligence instead of pretending we don't need it. I want to leave you with one last story. Imagine walking into a grocery store, you pick up a product and scan it. AI shows you the environmental impact, the nutritional score, the ethical supply chain history within seconds not from marketing, but from the data. That's not science fiction. That's an AI powered world where cognition is everywhere, where every decision is informed. So the next time you're drowning in data, unsure what it means, remember, you don't have a data problem. You have a cognition problem. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you have the cure. We're not just standing at the edge of a new paradigm. We're standing at the launch pad of human understanding. And its name is AI. From the to the spreadsheets. Once a surgeon, now he's carving up these real estate beats. Started in the OR, now he's also on the street. Flipping buildings, stacking millions, got no time for defeat. 2016. That's what we've got for this episode of the Medicine and Money Show. One thing that would help us and potential investors like you would be to like and subscribe below and share this another doctor who you think might benefit from this episode.